Clovis Agrag from SharePoint Maven, and in today's video, I would like to show you how you can display a channel calendar in Microsoft Teams. Uh, here is a use case for you. So as you schedule meetings uh, from uh, within the calendar in Microsoft Teams, or maybe from a given you know channel in uh, Microsoft Teams, um, you typically right schedule it uh, for a particular you know channel, or it could be just a mix of different meetings uh, outside of any channel, maybe one-on-one, -on -one, uh, you know, meetings uh, that you just schedule on your calendar from within Microsoft Teams. Long story short, no matter how you schedule your meetings, you end up with, a, I'm sure, with a pretty busy calendar. So here is a calendar. Uh, this is my, um, you know, personal calendar that I display in Microsoft Teams, and it shows me different meetings that were scheduled either um, you know, in a particular team, particular channel, or maybe outside of a particular team. Now, uh, let's just say I want to only filter certain events that were only, you know, scheduled um, uh, in a particular channel, maybe the only events that only apply to a particular, you know, team, particular channel. Uh, for example, I only want to see you know, events um, that were scheduled. Let me go to one of my teams uh, on the HR team from within this interviews channel. You know what? I just want to see all the interviews we have lined up for this week. Uh, I don't want to see anything else. Obviously, if I go to uh, calendar, I will get to see a very busy, busy schedule, but um, let me show you a cool trick. What you can do is navigate to that particular, so don't go to calendar, navigate to a particular channel then there is an app you can add, a calendar app you can add, and hit the plus uh, sign. And the app, the app's name is called Channel Calendar. If you don't see it on the list, you can just literally, um, you know, find it. Just type in calendar, and it will give you everything that matches that particular keyword. Here we go. And let's just say, let's give it a name, uh, just like that. All right. Uh, this is the name uh, I want to give to my calendar. And let's click Add and let's see what happens. And here we go. And look at this. It pretty much displays uh, my calendar, but it filters out any other events. Essentially, uh, it only shows me the events that were scheduled from within this particular channel on this particular team. If you recall, uh, my other calendar had a total of three events. All right, but this one only has two because again, this other event was scheduled outside of this particular channel. So it's a great way for you to kind of, I guess, stay sane, right? If you have way too many meetings, I'm sure we always, um, uh, we all do. Um, it's a great way for you to kind of display and filter out um, the unnecessary, you know, meetings, unnecessary noise, and just display what you need to see. All right, so that's all I wanted to show you in this particular video. Hopefully you learned something new. As always, happy to see you on my blog, sharepointmaven.com, as well as my YouTube channel. Thank you very much. Have a great rest of the day. Goodbye.